I'm, I'm here with uh, John from uh, Domaine Saint Croix, mm -hmm. and you're a winemaker in the Languedoc region. That's right. Where start? With, where is Languedoc? Where is Languedoc? Languedoc is the bit that goes along the bottom of France on the Mediterranean shoreline, um, basically from the Rhone Valley to just north of the Spanish border. And our property is situated about halfway between Narbonne and Perpignan, just slightly inland in the limestone hills. Uh, and the, the region is called the sub region? The sub region is Corbière. Corbière. And specifically, we're at Haute Corbière, so yeah. because we're uh, a little bit higher than, than a lot of it. Mm. Um, we're a small domain, small producer uh, in this region. We've been there for six years producing many red wines, uh, vin de terroir, you could call them. Uh, main aim is to express the soil, express the vineyard parcels where they come from, to have great fruit, um, but also great presence, great drinkability as well. Now, you're, um, you're obviously not French. I'm obviously not yes. French, yes. So, and you've been there for six years. How did you yep. come there? Um, by working for other people in the region as, uh, as a winemaker and looking around and, and seeing what was what and really appreciating the potential of the region yeah. um, and feeling that something very exciting could be, could be done, um, but for ourselves. And so when the time came that we wanted to, to set up for ourselves, myself and my wife, uh, we, we looked around for a long time until we found this grouping of, of vineyard sites, yeah. some of which are over 100 years old, um, to set up on to create wines, to craft wines in a style that we'd already expected to be able to make, yeah. um, which, is, which is what we found where we are. Let's, let's talk a bit about your wines now. Because you're, the best uh, bit. Yes, yeah. the best bit. Uh, now, you do yeah. make both white and red yep uh, even though and we just tasted it so we can talk about it now mm -hmm. uh, you, you start with a very interesting white wine mm. it's a, a tank blend of Grenache Blanc and Grenache Gris yeah um, it's limestone and schist in terms of its its geological origins it's um, a wine where we're looking to express the minerality that we get from the soil and an interesting and complex kind of fruit character as well, which is which is very important to give a real depth of flavour. It's very very much a, a food friendly wine, works well with a lot of different different dishes. But to do something a little bit atypical from many of the the wines from the region, we only make a very small quantity of it. But these are old vine parcels of of Grenache. Mm. I think. So. Having tasted it, I think there's one problem with it, and that's that you make too few bottles of yes, it. Yes, I'd <laughs> agree with that. I would agree with that. Yeah. It's a wonderful fresh mineral wine, really. So, and it's uh, if, if people have the image of heavy and uh, full-bodied, a bit soft white wines from the south of France, mm -hmm. Uh, this is wrong. Yes. It's not what your wine is like. It's, it's very much down to, to where it comes from. Yeah. I mean, this is a limestone wine at 250 meters, and that gives it the finesse, it gives it the elegance, and a bit more balance. Um. Now, y your main production mm -hmm. is red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and you have a range of red wines. Yes, we have four, uh, starting with uh, the Fournas, which we have here. That's and the, uh, this is the entry level. This, uh, Can you hold, first hold it up one. just yeah, sure. the... Yep. There we are. And like the white, uh, what we're trying to achieve here is to, to keep the freshness, um, the fresh fruit, the balance, the acidity, uh, again the drinkability. Um, it's very, in French they, they would call it digest, mm. in that it, it has that, that approachability, it's great to, to eat with, it matches a lot of things, food wine mm. pairing is very good. Um, Built around the Carignan grape, which is one of the main uh, varieties of our area, with a complement of Grenache, Syrah, Mourvedre, mm. um, no, no barrel. And from, from the Fournas we progress up through a range of Magnérique, Carignan and Celestra, mm. and each of them working around a blend of Carignan and Grenache. Now l let's stop for a second on, on sure. this, because you, you make a wine that you call Carignan, specifically mm. Carignan, which yes. is which is a, a well-known uh, Languedoc uh, grape variety, yes, mainly known for uh, making fairly uh, easy drinking uh, maceration, uh, carbonic, uh, carbonic maceration wines. Mm -hmm. Your wine is not like that. 
It isn't very much like that, no. no. I mean, this, it's a variety that was planted to satisfy a huge demand for low alcohol, high volume wines. Mm. And, you know, we're talking, um, some of our vines were planted in 1900, so from there through the 50, through to the mm. 50s and 60s. Um, it doesn't just do that. When it's treated in a certain way, when it's cropped very much lower, when it's vinified very carefully, uh, it can give great aromatic red wines with good intensity, fine colour, uh, very tight tannins, and is can be treated like a, a noble grape variety mm. because it has things, it has characters, characteristics that um, are very important now. It has the freshness. It, it's not too alcoholic, and. What we do is, is to express that, to express the other side of what it's capable mm. of. Which, uh, to us is very, it's very a Gagnon wine with a lot of depth, a lot of yep. grip, if, if you can say that. Yes, you can and, say that. Uh, also a lot of minerality. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Again, I mean, that comes to the way in which we work. Mm. Um, we are in the process of being certified organic. Mm. And one of the points of that is so that we can express fully as much as possible the land that we're coming from mm -hmm. and um, to do that we use for example wild yeasts uh, the fact to not use uh, weed killer in the vineyard gives us finer acidities tighter acidities uh, which we find in all our wines as as you were saying with the wines earlier on um, but that works the same through with the reds as well mm -hmm. so it's um, if you like the expression of the, of the way we work, you know, we don't sell a philosophy, we sell, we sell wine, um, but the two are very, very much interlinked. Yeah. John, Domaine Saint-Croix in the Languedoc, thank you very much. And one thing I'd like to add is that you're also based in a part of Languedoc which is actual beautiful landscape. It is very, so very it's good, beautiful. Another yeah. good reason to travel there. Yes, it, it is. I mean, it's every morning it's a pleasure to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> it's an absolute joy. Thank you very much.